If you're looking for a professional way to store your cannabis buds, the use of nitrogen gas can be a great way to go about this. And here on Tobacco University, we're going to cover just that. All right, let's get into the use of nitrogen gas for storing cannabis buds. Well, first off, the obvious question should be, well, why use nitrogen? It's already 78% of the atmosphere. And it's a colorless or odorless gas and heavier than oxygen. Why would you utilize that? Well, nitrogen has actually been used for years in preservation of perishables during transport and storage. Probably most notable uh, for the meat industry. That's why things come in nice sealed containers. These containers will be sealed and nitrogen gas will be added uh, to that environment to help preserve that meat as long as possible. So the nitrogen advantage. So when we're looking at nitrogen, the uh, gas flush sealed mylar bags are excellent packaging for long-term storage. The process flushes the bag with nitrogen and then seals it. Purging bag, uh, packages of oxygen extends the life of the buds and prevents growth of mold and discoloration similar to that of vacuum sealing. Uh, some testing labs offer nitrogen bagging services using tamper-proof packaging, so that's another advantage. So this nitrogen sealing technology are uh, really great for that really long-term storage and preservation of maintaining that high quality over an extended period of time. Nitrogen is being used, so you've probably uh, had a bag of potato chips and actually it's been sealed with nitrogen. Potato chips are shipped in nitrogen filled bags that not only help with the preservation, but limit damage during shipping and transport. So if you try to push on a potato chip bag, there's a lot of air in it. Well, that air is usually um, higher percentage nitrogen than the normal atmospheric conditions. That helps keep all the chips uh, from breaking and helps keep long-term storage because that nitrogen does help with that. And the same concept can be applied to your cannabis buds, prevent the physical damage of the buds as well as preserving the long-term storage by the use of higher concentrations of nitrogen in this storage environment. So that nitrogen saturation advantage. Well, sealing up containers with nitrogen gas can reduce the oxidation and help preserve the cannabinoids as well as the terpenes. So it's limiting that kind of breaking down process. Now, as we saw, it could be in mylar bags. It could also be in kind of what looks like a uh, cat food or tuna fish uh, container here as well. This al aluminum uh, can, both can have nitrogen saturation applied to them. It doesn't have to be just one set system. There is, however, added cost to this. So there is added cost with this nitrogen gas option, but consumers may not see a great value uh, with this, uh, unlike the quality curing and trimming of buds that they will notice and may be willing to pay a little bit more for. Well, this is advised, the use of nitrogen gas, it should incorporate only high quality end product to ensure only the best material has the longest shelf life and something you're going to hopefully get a near top dollar for. And keep in mind that use of nitrogen gas, don't forget about the light. Storing cannabis and nitrogen does have its advantages as presented here, but light can still degrade the bud quality even if nitrogen is used. So don't think just because you're using this nitrogen gas saturation that now you can keep them all out in the light and they won't be affected. They still can be broken down by other environmental factors, but utilizing the nitrogen gas can help preserve the local environment those buds are kept for the longest storage option. So you're able to maintain that high quality for as long as possible.